Hi everybody, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. December 26th, the day after Christmas, 2018. I uh, hope you are all having a wonderful holiday season. Thank you for joining me this morning. A gorgeous day outside, absolutely gorgeous outside. I want to do a shout out to Rosanna. Thank you for all the goodies that you've sent over the holiday season to me and to Hudson. <laughs> he's worn out his toy and he's loving the snacks. So thank you so much. We're going to play with a fun project today. Uh, acetate, a uh, little bit of magic. I had so much fun with this. Not the first time I did it. I didn't have so much fun with it, but the second time I had so much fun with it, and it took about half as long the second time. So I'm going to take you along on the second journey, not the first. So you're, you are so welcome. <laughs> so what I want to say before we jump on the table, January 1st, I am going to have about four videos available on YouTube and about eight videos available on Patreon. So if you aren't a member of Patreon, uh, you might consider it. $10 a month, you'll get uh, the videos, you will get an image of the project, and you'll get step-by-step -step instructions. Once a month, you'll get some focal points, you'll get a list of all the videos that have been done in the prior month. And uh, if I get it together, you'll get an updated uh, Amazon links for all the products that I've used in, in the um, in that month's video, okay? All right, enough chatter from me. I know you guys are ready to see some magic. See you on the table. So here are the projects that we're gonna play with today. This is the one that I have the instructions uh, going on. Do you believe in magic? So this can go into a book. I don't have a book that's ready for it right now. But isn't that fun? This was the second one I did. This is the instructions that we will follow together. This is the first one I made. Plenty of mistakes. Plenty, plenty of mistakes. I'll see if I can show him on screen. I'm going to pull the black and white off screen. <laughs> so fun, right? So fun. All right, let's talk about what you're going to need for today. I have a ruler and a bone folder. I have a paper punch and a ribbon. I have a focal point and a focal point that I, ha I have used this focal point and I have copied it on acetate sheet. I have a piece of watercolor paper that the focal point fits on. And then I have another piece of watercolor paper that is larger than the focal point paper. Okay, so the focal point is going to be glued onto here and you need another piece of watercolor paper that's larger. Maybe about mm, a half inch on each side is more than enough. Absolutely more than enough. Quarter of an inch is probably better. So, And then a piece of scrapbooking paper and tacky glue. Did I say tacky glue already? Alright, well let's get to it. So I'm going to bring my focal point in and I am going to glue it onto that watercolor paper and I'm going to use my uh, water, my glue stick, UHU glue stick, pretty darn good glue stick. This is the cover of a book that I fell in love with. I actually paid 25 cents for the book. May or may not read the book. Uh, <laughs> may pass the book on, but it no longer has a cover. All right, so this gets glued on to here, okay. 
bring my acetate sheet in, place it directly over that focal point as best you can. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew along the edge there. We're going to trim off all the excess acetate sheet, cutting the acetate off to fit that. Now I'm going to bring in the piece that is bigger. I'm going to actually trim it down a little bit because it is too large. I just want a little bit of a difference there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my bone folder and I'm going to mark that spot and fold on it. Crease it down well with my bone folder. Measure that. It's going to be about the same on the other side, maybe a little less, it's okay. Bone folder. Crease it. Slides in, it does. Gonna fold it down, yay. Bring our scrapbooking paper or whatever you want to call it in. Fold that in thirds to cover that I'll call that a little tunnel okay so we're going to just fold that into thirds figure out how big we want our window how about right there let's make a line And checking for size, side to side. Pretty good. Pretty good. And from top to bottom, probably, probably about right here. We shall see, right? What I can tell you is it's better to make the window too small than too big. So we are going to err on that side being too small rather than too big. And straight as we would expect. I'm going to bring in my cutting mat and my exacto for this and I'm just going to cut that window out. All right, let's remove that window. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, bring this one back in. I am going to put glue stick, glue stick, on these flaps.
glue stick on this flap. Glue stick on the edge here where this is going to close. really take my bone folder in, crease those up, I'm just trimming off the end, make it fit a little bit better. All right, so I trimmed this edge off. Let's see how this works. So the focal point goes between the watercolor and the back, and the acetate goes between the front, the window, and the watercolor. Okay. So this is what happens. We've got these beautiful little shoes. Beautiful little shoes. And look, now we have red shoes. Beautiful little shoes. Beautiful little red shoes. Pretty cool, huh? All right, we are going to trim this end off a little bit. Let's get rid of that white edge, actually. Now I am going to create a little tag for the side here. Take my glue stick, put some glue on both sides of this paper, place this where I want it here, Create a fun tag. Put a hole in it for ribbons and bangles. Acetate between the first two, focal point between the last two, that tag's a little bit big, thank you very much. Punch a hole. This is where you can put ribbons and things like that. I'm going to clamp this down. I'm putting a little bit of the glue stick here. Hold that flat. Okay, I did stabilo around the edge, also on the tag. 
little bit here, of course. And do you believe in magic? How about that? Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Want to see it again? And this would go in a book. I don't have a book that's uh, ready for this right now. Okay, here's the first one that I did that I, str <laughs> that I struggled over. Oh my goodness. But yeah, uh, I put this one in a book. It's nice and tall. I'm going to pull it back a little bit so you can see the magic. Do you believe in magic? Pretty cool, huh? He's just so hard to show the whole thing on screen. So that was the first one. Plenty of mistakes in him. And then here's the second one. Just so fun. All right. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.